thing I want to talk about before I get started with my day. Because why not? I guess we don't need the candle on this one. Here's some dramatic smoke effect for you. I want to talk about... <clears throat> There's balls, there's balls, and then there's real courage. You see, there's a, oh, a guy's got to have balls, a guy's got to be a man. There's a fake bravado facade that a guy can play. But when it really comes down to it, to be with a woman who is worth being with, you need to be able to take down all your barriers and expose yourself raw to your core, to your heart. Now your core isn't quite the same thing as your heart, and I plan on doing a video on this, but here we are, might as well say it. Your core is found within. This is what it means to center yourself, to ground yourself. Your core is the black hole heart of you. It's sort of a void and an emptiness, but in that emptiness is an energy. There is also a realness. There's a hardness that is not hard, a gravity that is dark, but also vibrant like fire. It is an ache within. It's the seated heart of you. And when it is opened, when it is ripped open wide, such as during heartbreak or grief, it can be debilitating in its intensity. This, my friends, is the core of you. Some people just say heart, follow your heart, it is true. And when you are in touch with it, it creates a powerful, authentic place in yourself that can feel raw and powerful and scary. It can feel too intense at times. We are deeply afraid of revealing this part of ourselves to other people, but this is the essence of us. This is what we need to be all the time. And this is what the people need to see and the people need to hear. This is especially what we fear scaring someone away by being ourselves, but what we don't realize is that that is the most powerful part of us that we are hiding. So people turn to fake masks and facades. If you want to approach a beautiful woman, you don't have to be anything other than yourself, but to be yourself. It means putting yourself on the line. Isn't it funny how it's easy to approach a woman with bravado and it's easy to approach a woman that we already know in advance is unavailable, but it is very difficult to approach a woman when we are really on the line because we are really ourselves and we don't know the outcome. It's especially difficult with a woman that would, there might be a chance with a woman who might say yes, those are the scariest. Because what if, what if, what if she rejects who you really are? What if she rejects you? What if you go out with her an hour later and you go out on a date in the middle of the date, she walks away and now you got to face that social rejection every day, especially if you bump into her again or every day frequently. What if she says yes? What if she gives you a chance and you blow it? What if, what if, what if she says yes? There's a lot on the line when a man must approach a woman. Seemingly to us, there is so much on the line. We have to give all of ourselves and risk being rejected. And we take it personally. It's not like a sales call. Oh, hey, here's my product. You are the product. Now it hurts. Now it means something. To be a man is not to have balls. It's easy to, it's easy to fake. I guess oversimplifying for dramatic uh, exposition here, but it's hard to have courage. Having courage does not mean eliminating fear. Having courage means to feel immense fear because only if we are afraid do we then know that that which we desire is real. If the love did not hurt, then it would not be real. If it hurts, if you long for it, if you want it, if you can't stop plotting about how to obtain it, if you are worried that you are being too silly and you don't take a chance, you don't make a move, but it haunts you every day since that is how you will know in your heart that this is what you must do. You must give yourself a second chance to have the courage to lay yourself out in a line. 
that maybe that second chance is the five minutes after you see her. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't ever hesitate. Not ever again. Your concern is not to look good or appear perfect or be sensational or have the perfect words to say you come out of a stumbling mess. You understand? When you approach a woman, you put it all on the line. Hey, uh, hey, hi, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm Josh, uh, hey, look, I, I see you every day, and, uh, I think you're, I think, I think you're really beautiful, and, uh, God, your figure is just amazing, and, uh, I look, there's something about you, and I, I care, and, uh, just, just want to get to know you, to, you know, get to know you better. Take you out, have a conversation. How about that? <laughs> That's not smooth. Is that romantic? But it's real. She might turn you down, but a woman who turns that down can't take it personally. So I'd be taken 90% of the time, 99% of the time I've seen as women these days are, or they're just not interested in men or love, but that is none of your concern. What's your concern is that it's real, 100% real. And if you are real and nervous and shaking, quaking in your boots, but you have the courage to not, hey, I'm fearless and bold. If you have the courage to express what's on your heart and mind anyway. That is extreme power. That is the truth. That is honesty. That is who you are. That is real courage. Make no mistake. That is extreme vulnerability. Courage is extreme vulnerability. She will be impressed on some level, whether she admits it or not. You might make her your wife. But the women who reject that kind of approach, those aren't the women you want anyway. The women who are after a pretty penny or to be taken care of, safety, security. But a real woman, a real woman will respect a real man who comes at her with nothing but himself, not trying to impress. Maybe he's full of fear, soulful. But they want sincerity. Can you be sincere with yourself? Can you put yourself all on the line and say, look, here I am. For a woman. Or will you convince yourself that it is foolish? Or that she will reject you, or that she must be taken when you have no knowledge of this? Will you invent scenarios in your head for why you did not try? Will you run and cower away in fear and tuck your tail between your legs like a mongrel? Will you deny yourself this chance for freedom? Maybe the ultimate goal is not the sexual conquest that may occur, but you find your freedom in the expression, in being your true self and expressing your heart and finally telling a woman how you really feel. There is no, there is no greater feeling or expression. Or maybe there is, maybe if it was returned. Fulfill, fulfill your heart's request be the core of authenticity of who you really are. Following your heart, there can be only a guiding bridge, even when there seems to be obstacles too tough. Following your heart, your heart knows the way, and it can defeat the villain in ways unexpected outside the box. A power such as this cannot be matched only in the heart can courage truly be found. I 
think we've reached the end of this video.